गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आवर सेशन ऑफ ऑडिटिंग एंड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ई डी पी ऑफ अवर फोर्थ चैप्टर दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग ऑडिट वर्क आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट इन अवर लास्ट सेशन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर यूनिट नंबर वन एज इफ there are total four chapters in a single unit in our first unit we have completed chapter number 1 that is introduction to auditing then after second chapter that is objectives of audit then after third one that is types of audit and the last chapter fourth chapter that was completed in the last week that is organizing audit work so here our first unit is completed that is of four different chapters yes as you all know that in your semester 5 you are going to deal with four different units now first unit consist four chapters second unit consist two chapters and there is single chapter in unit number 3 as well as in unit number 4 so today i am going to start our new unit that is unit number 2 now in this second unit we are going to discuss two different chapters the first chapter that is internal audit and control and second chapter that is vouching now in our previous session many times we are using the word that organization must have a proper internal control if the internal control is in a proper manner then the chances of fraud the chances of malpractice will be minimum to minimum and again at the time of auditing auditor is going to check that what is the level of internal control means if the internal control is in a proper manner then automatic trust can be built in the mind of auditor so the name of the unit itself sorry the name of the second unit is internal audit that consist internal control and vouching so chapter number 1 that is about internal audit and control how organization is going to put internal control and through internal control how organization is going to check that books of accounts are going to carry at which level and with the help of proper internal control what is the level of fraud what is the level of malpractices so here we are going to study the different points that is related with internal audit and control yes a brief introduction about syllabus of first chapter in that we are going to study introduction then after meaning of internal control then after scope of internal control definition of internal check characteristic of internal check 
देन आफ्टर ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ इंटरनल चेक एडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफ इंटरनल चेक देन आफ्टर टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल चेक बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इंटरनल चेक सिस्टम देन आफ्टर ऑडिटर्स ड्यूटी इन रिगार्ड्स टू इंटरनल चेक सिस्टम इंटरनल चेक फॉर कैश एंड वेजेस इंटरनल ऑडिट देन आफ्टर डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरनल एंड स्टेट्यूटरी ऑडिट एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटरनल चेक एंड इंटरनल ऑडिट now before starting this chapter chapter number 1 i want to discuss something with you about the chapter this chapter is divided into three parts as far as the syllabus is concerned it is clearly mentioned that the whole chapter is divided into three parts in the first part we are going to study what is internal control and how organization is going to levy internal control in the work of accountancy and in the work of different management style later on we are going to study the concept of internal check first we need to learn what is internal control then after we are going to study about internal check in internal check each and every points are going to be covered that is introduction is there definition is there different objectives are there uh, the advantages and limitations of internal check types of internal check and so on then after the third part of the chapter is internal audit so now i think it is clear to each and every one that the whole chapter is divided into three parts the first one that is internal control then after internal check and then after internal audit in these three parts are interrelated with each other you are not going to study a single part when at the time of ignoring the other parts internal control is totally depends upon internal check and internal audit is totally depends upon the system of internal control and internal check so these three points are totally interrelated with each other so one by one we are going to study the basic concepts of this three different points i hope till now you all are clear about it that what we are going to study in our unit number 2 and many of the students have their books that books of auditing so it will be easy for you to catch up each and every points that is going to be delivered in the particular session first one we are going to start with the introduction part introduction of internal control make my words we are going to start with internal control internal control is one of the basic factor in the management of an organization it is the primary function in any organization 
वॉट एवर द साइज ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी वॉट एवर द नेचर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी बट ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नीड टू अडॉप्ट इंटरनल कंट्रोल इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर सो दैट द अदर फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट कैन रन स्मूथली इफ इंटरनल कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज इम्प्लाइड इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एबल टू फुलफिल और दे आर एबल टू अचीव देर नॉर्मल प्लस देर स्ट्रेटेजिकल गोल इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर सो the success of any business unit is totally depends upon the level of internal control that is to be implied by the organization it has been compared with the nerve system of human body yes here internal control is the nerve system of our organization as it govern all operation and policies and keep them within practic practic sorry and keep them within practicable performance range what is the importance of nerve system in our human body like that that is the importance of internal control in any organization unit through internal control organization is able to manage or govern all the operations all the policies all the procedures different different rules different different regulations of the organization and through internal control organization is able to see that the whole activity are going to be done within their best resources and with their best efforts internal control is classified into two categories that is first one accounting control and second one that is administrative control first one accounting control accounting control means when the place where the whole ledgers the whole vouchers the whole books of accounts are going to be kept so here through accounting control organization is going to see that each and every proof each and every vouchers each and every ledgers they must be kept at a proper manner and with the proper safety because through these ledgers through these vouchers the main books of books of accounts are to be prepared so vouchers ledgers different proofs they are the base for the books of accounts so here through accounting control organization is going to see that each and every piece of paper that is important to carry the books of accounts must be stored and must be handled in a proper manner and again a control is going to be implied to the person who is going to manage the whole stuff and generally they are the accountants so here organization is putting a control on a person who is head of the accounting department 
और थ्रू विच ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांजेक्शन्स और ईच एंड एवरी वाउचर्स आर गोइंग टू बी पास्ड सो थ्रू अकाउंटिंग कंट्रोल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एबल टू जस्टिफाइड द नीड एंड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फिनेंशियल डेटा प्लस अकाउंटिंग डेटा इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर then after second one that is administrative control here administrative control means when the control is going to be put on our employees so they are going to work in a proper manner they are going to work with their proper efficiency with their proper knowledge and with their proper skill so through administrative control organization is going to control their human force means their employees now in administrative control each and every types of employees are going to be there means if they are at the top level or if they are at the bottom level each and every types of employees are going to be there in administrative control so this is the work of hr department that is human resource department and in accounting control it is the work of accounting department yes here i want to clear one thing there is a difference between accounting department and financial department now in accounting department the person who is the head of accounting department is preparing the books of accounts now only the task of the head of accounting department is to prepare books of accounts in a proper manner and he is going to see the safety level of books of accounts now in the financial department as far as the financial department is concerned here the person that is the financial manager is going to see that how organization is going to raise their finance how they are going to manage the finance how they are going to satisfy the different needs of finance of the different departments in a proper manner and how they are going to utilize their raised finance so both task are totally different so never consider accounting department and financial department as a single department because the working style the nature of work is quite different as compared to their work which is going to be carried out in different departments now internal control so first and foremostly here a diagram is there with you that internal control is going to be carried out with the help of internal check and with the help of internal audit now as far as internal control is concerned it is said as internal control is the main system of controls and this system is going to control financial and other functions of the organization and the main purpose of internal control that is to see that business is going to run smoothly and profitability 
is going to be achieved so with the help of internal proper internal check system and proper internal audit system organization is able to create internal control in a proper manner now here we have a definition of internal control it is given that internal control is best regarded as indicating the whole system of controls financial and otherwise established by the management in the conduct of a business including internal check internal audit and other forms of control so internal check and internal audit they are the internal part of internal control system the main is internal control and in internal control we are going to include internal check system and internal audit system in a simple manner we can say that what is the work of control in the management that is to see that different objectives and different policies are going to be implied in a proper manner organization is running smoothly basic objectives are going to be achieved in a proper manner and if there are any loopholes in the objectives in the policy formation and in any working style of the organization that is to be checked in control system so here a normal comparison is going to be done by the organization organization is going to compare the standard one with the actual one and if there is a difference between in there is a difference at the time of comparison of standard objectives and the achieved one then organization is going to rectified the basic objectives and through that they are going to achieve the standard one the same concept is applicable in auditing we have different principles we have different norms of accountancy so here through internal control organization is going to compare that standards that principles with the actual one means how they are going to carry the books of accounts in their organization how they are going to calculate the different calculation of depreciation of taxation of bad debts of different different reserves and if the calculation is in a proper manner with the standard one with the already applied principles of accountancy then we easily say that the internal control system is in a proper manner but if there is a difference between the standard one and the actual one it means we are not fo following or we are not adopting the accountancy principle in our organization with or at 100% level so we need to check our system of accountancy and if there is any loophole in that then clearly we are going to rectify that limitations that loopholes so through internal control we are going to see that how the basic principles of accountancy are going to be implied 
then after the next point it is about scope of internal control it is very basic point very easy point so oral discussion is there in scope of internal control here the scope is divided into three part the first one that transactions are executed as authorized by the management whatever transactions are there in our organization it must be authorized by the higher authority of the management it means the management must know that which transactions are going to be take place in business unit and how these transactions are going to affect the working system of particular organization so first one that is transactions are executed as authorized by management without the prior permission of management here accountant is not advisable to carry any transactions second scope is financial records are in conformity with generally accepted accounting principles whatever records are prepared by the organization whatever records are prepared by the head of the department it must compared with generally accepted accounting principles and if at the time of comparison if there there is any loophole at the time of preparing financial records then definitely organization is going to see that and try to rectify it and now the third scope is the assets are properly maintained it is a duty of our accounting department our financial department that is to see that the assets both tangible and intangible must be maintained in a proper manner so that at the time of verifications or at the time of valuations of our assets the auditor is not going to find any difficulty at the time of auditing of assets so again i am repeating the basic three scopes it is not important as far as your examination is concerned that is about scope of internal control the first one that is transactions are executed as authorized by management second one the financial records are in conformity with generally accepted accounting principles third one the assets are properly maintained now it is a duty of our auditor that is to check in detail the effectiveness of accounting control as they have direct relationship with the reliability of financial statement whatever financial statements are presented by 
द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट मस्ट हैव द डिरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप विथ द अकाउंटिंग कंट्रोल सो बोथ आर हाईली रिलायबल ऑन ईच अदर सो थ्रू ऑडिटर वी आर एबल टू कंट्रोल अवर अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डिपार्टमेंट बिकॉज हियर ऑडिटर इज नॉट गोइंग टू सी द वर्किंग स्टाइल द वर्किंग एफिशियंसी ऑफ अवर एम्प्लॉज सो बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स आर वेरी इजी टू वेरीफाइड एंड इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर द चेकिंग पर्पज बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू चेक द एम्प्लॉज और एनी ह्यूमन पर्सन इट इज अबाउट देर एफिशियंसी और इट इज अबाउट देर इफेक्टिवनेस सो वेरीफिकेशंस ऑफ एम्प्लॉज आर वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट सो इन अवर टूडे इन अवर दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर वन इंटरनल कंट्रोल वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट द कंट्रोल ऑफ accounts the control of books of accounts vouchers ledgers and any financial statement so i think it is enough for today in today's session we are going to discuss about the introduction of internal control that internal control is divided into two part first one that is internal check and second one that is internal audit both are related with the internal control and there are two types of internal control the first one that is accounting control and second one that is administrative control it is quite easy to control our accounting department that the different books of accounts are going to be kept and they are going to be verified in a proper manner but it is very difficult to control administrative department because auditor is not able to verified or they are not in a position to check the efficiency the effectiveness of our employees so now in the next session we are going to learn internal check so it is only about internal control our first part is completed as i discussed in the introduction that the whole chapter is divided into three part first part is internal control second is internal check and third one is internal audit so in first session we have completed the first part that is the introduction meaning and scope of internal control i think you all are clear about today's point today's discussion and hope you all are clear about our unit number 1 that consists of four different chapters and again i am requesting all of you that if you have a book then please prepare the quick note because through quick note you are able to remember many points with the minimum efforts it will helpful you in your examinations so here i am ending my session thank you thank you so much